What up everybody, Crazy Canadian back here. Look at that. The, the mullet and the thing on the top and the mustache. It's all good. We're just gonna finish our welding up really quick. I, something I meant to do last video, we ran out of argon, got more argon. I'm gonna do that real quick. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Dang, if your boy ain't good with pipes, I don't know. Well, I mean, this fit up wasn't perfect, so I'm only half good with pipe. But uh, let's cut the supports off this thing and let this hang from this uh, beast of a half a liter engine. I forgot, y'all don't know what liters are. Half a quart-ish? Everything's a hammer. Dang, turbo's hanging all by itself now. Dang, turbo's hanging all by itself now. We're gonna put the front piece on here uh, just so we can place the top piece on so we know how to build our manifolds. All our little tube pipes are here, cheap pipes. Let's get to building. Now we have a couple things to keep in mind when we're building this exhaust. It needs to fit underneath this hood, pretty straightforward. It can't obstruct where this wheel turns. Oh, full, full lock on this side, it hits the thing, but that's my GoPro. So it's going to probably end up somewhere along the frame here, maybe, and then up and out. Because we gotta keep it tight. We gotta have room for everything else. I think there's a water pump on the other side we gotta keep in mind for. That's a water pump right here, so we gotta go down below that. So we have to fit these two pieces inside this one two and a half inch V-band. These are two inches, so obviously if I cut them straight in half, they're not gonna be enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this distance right here, the circumference I believe it is, and then half it, and then half that's gonna go on this pipe, and the half that's gonna go on this pipe, and I should be able to mark that, weld these, and get pretty close once I expand it out to fitting in this. Is there a good way to do this? Probably. Do I know what it is? Probably not. Lay this out here. We're gonna use a piece of wire, because we have lying around. Seven, three quarters. We'll go eight, eight to be safe. So four inches around this pipe. And we want them to be like this. Four inches here, half of four inches too. There we go. So our two goes on this, this, it's marked there, and there. It's some pretty flat metal to begin with, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on the belt sander right on where I think it needs to go. We're just gonna hold it there, let the belt sander eat through what we need to. It's gonna get real hot, but uh, that'll give us the smoothest, flattest surface that we can get. So let's just give it a shot here anyways. And now this one, we'll put a cut in it and see if it works faster. This one's had a slice in it. I feel like I might have measured wrong on one of these. And I feel like it's probably this one. And how did I do that? Let's get a new piece. You know how the hood rat saying goes, when something's really expensive, second time's always the charm. Haha, <laughs> let's tack that up. The trick here is gonna be trying to hold it by myself. And then the second thing is we need to turn the amps way down because, uh, we gotta sharpen our tungsten, because this is so thin. So this is like point, point oh four five weld probably. So we'll probably use like 30 amps to weld this. Now that's cool, we got an oval we have to fit inside of a circle. And I have no idea how I'm gonna do it, except I only have one idea. So let's do that. So 
So here's my idea. Since this is like a super wicked awesome oval, uh, what I'll do is I'll just weld a piece of pipe into our V-band, then oval the bottom, and then we'll go from round to oval. Super easy. Sometimes, sometimes I just be way too smart, and then, uh, and then it might not work either. So, but I should not hatch my chickens before I lay them. Dang, that thing's way bigger than it's supposed to be. Maybe the old reverse vice technique. Ooh, if we can open this up a little bit more, maybe we'll get it slip over this piece and then it'll work fine. Oh my God, I think we just did a thing. Just get that one to slip inside that one. Weld this bead right here. Oh my God. Another day, Smokio showed up over there actually. Buddy's on YouTube YouTube's like, I eat ass, does a live waffle on Facebook? Sounds like an awkward wiener. <laughs> I wanted to be clear and concise, okay? This is what I've built so far, actually. I didn't even film this piece, but yeah, I put a 90 and then the adapter thing and then this, and that's how far we are so far. For anybody that's wondering, it's um... <laughs> Cold up today. Canadian land. September 19th, and we've had to turn the garage heater on already. Uh, Friday morning when I got up for work, it was plus four degrees, so four degrees away Celsius from freezing. So that's probably like 38, 39. 30, yeah, 38, 39 Fahrenheit for you Americans. For you freaking Americans. And just so you know, uh, two of your dollars is worth 872 maple syrup bucks. Next on Boosted Lifestyle, we turbo a moose. Okay, you can see that our pipe is wide in there right now. One comes out here and the other one, you can see it just tucked on the other side. Come up with a 90 from there, out to here somewhere, and then our pipe's gonna come like straight out from there somewhere, and then up back here. So we'll just put that in there, mark it, and we'll tack that on, and then we'll have like a cool Y to octopus leg, kicked out in the back, uh, Jumanji kangaroo. And now the turbo is actually a little bit offset um, to the left side here. So on this side, to go from this uh, kangaroo thing here, we actually need to space out a little bit with a piece of straight pipe in order to get out past this frame rail. And if you ain't got a bandsaw, what are you doing? There it is, look at it. It looks like uh, the black sheep thing. It looks like my turbo kit for my car right now. But you can see it uh, octopuses out one way and the other, but uh, I don't know if I'm even gonna get this in there um, without a v-band on it well they both fit in here there's this one right here there's that one right there and now we have the little straight piece come out and then up past our little cover majiggy thing that's uh gonna collect all the explosions explosions explosions, explosions. Or buckets. I did that for a long time too. Look at it! Look at friggin' Skittles taste the rainbow! Look out for that little hole though that I got on the side there. That was a that was my tack. Tack might have to go further away. Oh yeah, rainbows. Like you know what you're doing. Oh, we're actually gonna weld it up to get all the shrinkage out of it. Cause when you make it hot, it shrinks. And then that way, like our end point isn't all whacked out. Which is the opposite of how other things work. Cause when they get cold, they shrink, but they can't shrink if they're always small. And it's not small, it's cute. It's not even about how big or small it is. It's about the, the length overall of wiener and you can give her. So if and you got four inches and you give it to her for five minutes versus eight inches at two minutes and certain pumps per minute, like you might end up giving her overall once, more. Once the shrinkage comes out, <laughs> we end up with fitment. And that's what it's all about, fitment. Fitting this. Fitting this pipe <laughs> in your pipe fitter. You want to see my ram horn welded? I welded this one and 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 this one. And we left this one off for now. We're going to put it back in there, get our fitment, see what we need to make for this one to get it to come out kind of like here because we got to go around the water pump. And then bullhorns up both sides. 
Nailed it. Are you Kyle from 1320 Video? I am Kyle from 13. Look at the flow on this guy. You like that? It's coming in, isn't it? It looks greasy right now, too. Like greasy, he, he, he. Like Randy ate too many cheeseburgers, greasy? Yeah. Like Randy's the father of uh, Ricky's unborn baby, greasy. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of room there. Uh, yeah, and then this one, yeah, it doesn't hit, so it's good. But if I put this on now, you'll see on this side, it should be around. Oh, man. Now, let me go get another piece of pipe. Good, we'll warm it up. Open up your fine china. Yeah, it says right on the pipe. You know it's good quality when you open it up and it says made in China. Right on it. Yeah, must be good. Oh yeah. Ooh, might be a little bit close. Like that somewhere. Ooh. But we'll put a piece of pipe upwards too. Manning a station over here. We get an idea now. So we actually have it bullhorned up on both sides. It's kind of equal-ish, maybe. One side's actually longer than the other, just where the turbo placement is. Ah! We both bolt this in, um, and then we have an idea for what we want to do up here. Probably slash cuts at 45 degrees on both sides. Ooh, and then maybe I can put it on the belt sander and make this transition myself. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll put this on, we'll cut off our pieces, and I'll show you what we're doing. We're gonna take this, we're gonna put it on the belt sander like this-ish and work it, work it, work it. And then it's gonna turn out like something like this. So hopefully make another one like that. And I think that's a little bit cooler than just a little slash cut. This one's got a little bit of a work to do there, but uh, yeah, not bad. Looks pretty cool to me. Close enough, just for like a little hand, quick thing, majig, quick little hand job there. I'll safety first, always. By the way, sometimes when it's when it's like uh, convenient, safety when it's convenient, and then uh, mark these to be the same height. Okay, let's see what fits. <laughs> Fits. One, one. And then that one, and then the other one's sitting there too. Oh, they're a little tiny bit off. But barely noticeable. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's exactly how the turbo systems work. That's just a ram air intake. I think so, yeah. Yeah. The v band would probably fit on there though. It would probably fit on there. I don't want to do it because that bell mouth is probably pretty weak. Yeah, but it'd be sweet. That actually looks good. It looks like a friggin' uh, Woolly mammoth, mammoth tusks. Good thumbnail right there. Let's see if this thing bolts on as one piece. That's why I haven't welded the whole thing because I don't know if it's going to bolt on or not. I've been doing it this whole time and you decide to try and wiggle it in there the first time that you touched it. Don't be worried about what the man is doing. Looks like you might have to actually. We're a little cock wobbled up here. All right, let's switch. Okay, we're switching. One, two, three, switch. This is a good tag team, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you just gotta know when to tag the better man in. Oh, just a little roll of the hips the there. Roll of the hips. And she just popped right in. And she finally came. But I got her like three quarters away yeah. there. It doesn't count unless you make her came though. Dang. And, and they'll tell you that too. Yeah, teach me though, daddy. In and up. Also, we're gonna take this opportunity while I'm sitting here. The, this video is brought to you by Black Sheep Industries. You can visit our website at uh, blacksheepindustries.ca. We got wastegates, blow off valves, turbos, all that good stuff for your turbo build. Make sure you, uh, you get on board with us because we're quick and fast and it looks all good and stuff. And uh, Boosted Lifestyle gets 10% off at checkout. Website's down below in my link tree.
along with my OnlyFans. Ooh. That's why I grew the mullet, to start an OnlyFans. For a preview of what goes on on the OnlyFans. Y'all are sick. Need Jesus. more sleek so I don't want the steering wheel to be like how it was originally. I th but I think your steering angle is going to depend on how and where your knuckles line up. Yes. That's going to be the biggest. Is but the more I can pull it back this way, the better it gets. Let's find a tilt call. <laughs> hey alien trash kitty, what do you think about my exhaust? First, first impressions. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I haven't looked at it. I was talking to Tokyo. I was giving him shit because he's leaving and we ordered pizza. We just ordered freaking pizza and Tokyo left. I, I think it's cool. It's pretty sick, yeah. Next up, I have to work on steering, so I'll probably come out tomorrow and work on some steering. <laughs> but yeah, I think it, our little pro mod go kart thing, pretty, pretty badass. I like it. Like it. Do you want a present for your pizza? What is it? Is it sugar free? Ooh. Mountain Dew? Gross. Yeah, but zero sugar. Yeah, it was gross. Zero sugar though. Make sure you just smash the subscribe button, the like button, that little bell thing next to the thing. If you want to see the next video right away, you hit that little bell thing, gives you a notification, you come here fast, and then we grow bigger. Peace easy, and get that V. She keeps talking over my clips. I don't care! Ah. Gino Link specific Coca-Cola products. Sugar free. Sugar free. Peace.